Remember the area we said we would pollard the trees and we would have a shaded little spot to rest? Well, that's not happening anymore because we happen to still have equipment available to terrace this out. And that's gonna give us more growing space, more intense space. I'm Justin Hitt from Prosperity Homestead. What we've done here is we've topped out these trees as rough as we could. Uh, these are honey locust. And if they remain, they will spread because we've topped the top of them. But if we were to pollard them, we would end up with these nice, big, straight pieces that are thick, essentially growing tent, uh, uh, fence posts. But again, the equipment is available to take these completely out of the ground. So it's a two-person job. One person's gonna be on the excavator. He's gonna grab the bottom of this and dig up a lot of dirt with it, take out all those roots. Another person's gonna be here and pulling out the roots. So we wanna get out as much roots as possible. Then we're gonna dig out this soil and use that as a base of possibly a terrace right here, the bottom of a terrace, to level this top area out. Uh, I just wanted to show you real quick, you can be pretty rough with it if you are just going to destroy it. But if you want to keep it, Locust has a really tight grain and you would actually cut it like you're pruning above your head. So you'd have these 45 degree angles. But again, I cut, I marked out the terrace uh, contours. That's this orange band here. And so he'll excavate right below that, make out a level spot, build a mound upslope, level off some of this area. And it's gonna give us some nice flat growing spaces to work with. And I also marked out the other side as well. You wanna like and subscribe to make sure you see this because this is some powerful insight that's gonna help you get more from your land. So we'll basically be able to have more level surface We'll be able to, to, uh, to rake it out faster, easier, put better rows in it. When we have outsiders working on things, it's easier for them to work with. It also gives you some uh, easy access space. So this is the, the one I showed you in the past video. There'll be a link in the description to the past videos. Um, but look at this. You've got a nice little bank, embankment there. And then it drops down to a more level terrace to work on. Terraces are going to help us slow and spread water to keep nutrients on the land that we're, we're working, the agricultural land we're working with. There's another terrace down the bottom, by the way. We can later plant trees on the top, which we're probably not gonna do for this particular space because there's an orchard elsewhere on the property. But the concept is that you could plant trees on the top and then we can shave out some of this area to give us a more level space to move vehicles through or that where we're loading and unloading materials to make that level, but that terrace has to be on contour it has to be level on the top and that's going to give us a nice big growing space that we can work with um, when you have a level area growing so growing on slopes you use what we showed you before uh, permanent no-till raised beds on contour but when you have a more level space you can have different row configurations depending on what kind of plants that you have and then it'll be easier to flail mow so we won't let things get as tall as we've done in the past videos. And you can cover crop it and get it going. We still have a few year, years to get this soil where it needs to be um, because it's, it's still got a lot of grass seed in it. It's still a lot of clay. But again, the little bit of earthwork investment up front makes it easier over time to do these things. Because if you didn't see, you know, if you come out here in person, you'll see me uh, on the flail mower get thrown around as it goes over these bumps and curves and stuff. But again, we wanted to show you from a demonstration perspective, the original contouring was done with a tiller. It was done with a BCS tractor and it was raked out, measured. We used the A-frames and stuff like that. This is gonna give us the best, most valuable use of the space. It also increases the surface area in your growing space uh, and allows you to then uh, get more of the, catch, of the catch crops, the more of the biomass growing, and then better, e more easily handle it. You can go through a scythe on a level space, uh, and when you have all these hills and bumps, the scythe's a little rough. So I'm Justin Hitt from Prosperity Homestead. If you've got any questions, visit me at www.prosperityhomestead.org. Go to the contact page, ask your questions, and, and stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe because um, we're going to show you how we transform the space into more uh, wider terraces and um, a little bit easier for folks to manage, especially when we have visitors and guests. Um, but we're still doing organic. We're still doing uh, kind of a regenerative agriculture, but we're doing it in phases so you can see the options that are available to you. 
So there's a lot of pit videos in the past to show you how this got built and what you can do from there. This is powerful. You're gonna grow an abundant amount of food with this kind of system. And it's really an application of permaculture and regenerative farming. Uh, there's a little bit of natural farming in there, but again, it's just names. Get out there and do something. And I'll see you in the next video.